Now the first step is to switch on the printer and also load the A4 size sheets at the rear paper tray and also open the paper output tray. Now we go on the printer's display panel. We need to enter this printer into the setup mode. For that we need to press and hold the cancel button and the wireless button for 3 seconds. Now release it. You will see the power button starts to flash and after some time it will stay on and the blue wireless light will start to flash. That means our printer has entered into the setup mode and it's ready for the connection. Now go to your Android phone and download the HP Smart App from the App Store and open this app. Once we open it, now we need to search for printer and add the printer here. So you will see the plus button on the top of the screen. So just click on that. In case you see this message no printer found, just click on the set up a new printer. And here we see on the top of the screen TextJet 2700 series setup. Click on that. On the next screen, it will show up the name of the Wi Fi network of your home or office and enter the password of your Wi Fi network. So once you enter the password, click on the continue button. Now it's saying to press the flashing information button on your printer. So click, click it once. On the next screen you will see it says printer connected to the Wi-Fi and it displays the name of the network it is connected to. Now click on the continue button. If you want you can send a link to other devices otherwise you can click on note right now. So here is the last screen saying setup is complete let's print. So click on the print a document. So that will give a confirmation for us like if it is connected wirelessly or not. Here you see all the details of the printers are available and just click on the blue icon on the top here. And once you click on it will send a command for the printer to print. Also it will display all the details of your printer as you can see here. So estimated level of ink and also the status of this printer. So here we can see it has connected to the Wi-Fi network and it says welcome sheet and it gives all the details now in case your printer is not connecting and it's getting failed again and again when you are going to uh, when you are trying to connect with the wi-fi network just try it after few hours because it just depends on the wi-fi network if it's working properly or not now i'll show you how to do the multiple scannings as well for example here is the printer scan option so we just have to click on that open the top scanner lid and place a page facing downwards on the right hand side. Click on the scan button. So this is the page one which is scanned. Now to scan another page open the scanner lid. And place the second page facing downwards. And here you see the plus button on the app. Click on that. And click on the scan button again. So here we can see the two pages are available. Now these are the multiple pages so we can save it as a single PDF file. So click on the save button and on the top you can just change the name of the file. Select it as a PDF format and just click on the save button. So this is the location it's going to save and once you click it save. So just go to the app and look for the view and print option which is below here and here you look for the pdfs and your recent pdf will be on the top of the list here and now if you want you can share it for example here is the share button and we can send it as a mail or if you want we can send it as a whatsapp so it's easy and we can do the wireless printing and scanning thanks for watching